Alright, before anything, if you could change anything about the next game of Pokemon, what would it be? Hey guys, what is up? It is Castle here once again bringing you another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle video. This time it's against Elagia Cross 32 I will leave a link in the description if you guys are interested in his channel. Uh, for the battle, this was a, kind of a mixed tier battle because he said I will be bringing all use or something like that and I said whatever you want. This time I'm gonna be battling with, uh, with some of my favorite Pokemon, so let's see how it turns out. So. Um, he's gonna lead off with an Aerodactyl, as you can see, he's gonna go for the Taunt. I predict the Taunt right off the bat because I know he will predict my Stealth Rock setup. And that that is why I go for the Iron Head and just almost finish him off because of the Focus Ash he's gonna be able to leave on. But um, if I'm not mistaken, does uh, Aerodactyl learn or have the ability sturdy? I, I, or, or is it Pressure? I don't quite remember which one it is. In any case, if it can has the uh, ability is sturdy, there is no need for Focus Ash, but I don't think it can learn that or have that, but um, whatever it might be, it's alright. So at this point, I'm gonna switch out here, predicting the Earthquake or the Stealth Rocks, and uh, I go out into my head mode up. I'm gonna go for the Rapid Spin just to kill him off, because he uh, he's leaving on with 1 HP, and any, any move can basically take him out, so that's why I go for the Rapid Spin after he set up the Stealth Rocks, and that is pretty much okay. Because, you know, right now I pretty much have the opportunity to switch out whenever I want and not get hurt by any Stealth Rocks damage. So he's gonna bring out the Swallow. I'm gonna predict the Brave Bird Protect or U-Turn, whatever he might wanna do at this point. And I'm gonna go out into my Steelix. Steelix is just chilling here and I'm gonna take the opportunity at this point to switch out. And uh, go to Gastrodon predicting like, let's say, a Surf or a Waterfall or something like that. But instead he goes for a Substitute. Uh, as I bring out my Gastrodon. Gastrodon has got the Storm Drain ability, which makes sure that any water type attack turns out into a special attack uh, boosting um, like move uh, on Gastrodon's side. So that means I'm not going to be taking damage from that move uh, anyhow. And that is going to be awesome. So the only move that is possible that, that he might hurt me with is going to be Outrage or whatever move it is that is not water type. So I'm gonna go for the stockpile knowing that it will go for the Dragon Dance because this is a sub Dragon Dancer uh, Kindra which is kind of common in this meta game. And I'm gonna go for the Earth Power to take out the substitute. I know he would go for another Dragon Dance but that's all right with me because I really need to take down that sub because if I don't take down that sub uh, soon enough he will be pretty much be able to sweep my entire team. So um, he's gonna go for the Outrage as you can see it's a plus two attack plus two speed. And since I got a stockpile up, that means I am at plus one defense and a plus one special defense. So I'm gonna be able to take the outrage and not die from it. Uh, he basically did about 60% damage to my Gastrodon, which is all right. It's all right, guys. So I'm gonna go for Earth Power. Not gonna do that much. So I'm gonna switch out into my Steelix, knowing that he's pretty much locked into the outrage, which will give me the opportunity that if he has a three turns outrage, which he has, which is absolutely amazing. I am gonna take this opportunity to go ahead and set up Stealth Rocks because anytime that he switches out, um, he will be hurt by the entry hazards. In other words, just the Stealth Rocks. And uh, the, I'm, I want to set up this specially because of the Swallow because I know that Swallow has Protect and it can pretty much uh, come in anytime and use Protect and use Brave Bird everything. But that's, that's not gonna work against me, so that is fortunate. And um, he's gonna be recovered from the, uh, you know, the confusion that he got earlier because of the Outrage. Uh, with the Lumberry and that is good for him because he's gonna go for the waterfall I actually could predict that and go out in, into my gas room But what good could I get from that and nothing actually just pretty much damaging my team a little bit more So I just wanted to further out my Steelix and to safely bring out my Hitmon top and go for the fake out and mag punch combination to take out the uh, Kindra at this point so I wasn't really too worried about the Kindra at all because I knew that I had counters for this thing all over the place. I still have a few other Pokemon that have, uh, you know, like uh, first priority moves and stuff like that. So I wasn't really too scared of that. So the Alakazam comes in and this took him absolutely off guard because I go for the Sucker Punch. He did not see that coming. So I took out the Alakazam right off the bat. I'm sorry, Alakazam, you couldn't do anything. I feel sorry for you, but um, he's going to bring out Homer right now, which is going to be Snorlax. And at this point, I'm like, ah... Uh, I bet he's gonna go for the body slam and try to take me out right off the bat. So I might as well just go for the mag punch. There is no need for me to switch out because I still have a few Pokemons that have no fighting attacks such as um, like Medicham with Drain Punch and also my uh, Gallade with uh, Close Combat. So I'm absolutely not worried about the Snorlax at all. There is only one Pokemon that is really worrying me uh, at this point and that is Swellow instead of Salamence that he's got on his team. But um, that is not really something that I am too worried about. But um, I'm gonna go for the Mag Punch here after he goes for the Curse, which was kind of a misplay on his part because he should have gone for the Body Slam right off the bat because the Snorlax is way too slow to compete with my speedy team at this point. So there is no way he could uh, he could get anything good from that Curse. Just pretty much extra damage on his own, so that was really bad. 
Um, anyways, I'm gonna go for the uh, Mac Punch right there. I'm gonna finish him off, and uh, well, I'm not, I'm actually not gonna finish him off. He's gonna finish me off, and uh, I'm gonna send out my Medicham. Just go for the Drain Punch, Revenge Killing, Medicham right off right off the bat, right there. Looks pretty good. Um, it is, by the way, a shiny one, which is way better than the normal one. So uh, he's gonna bring out Swallow, and this is why I wanted to set up the Stealth Rocks because it did a pretty nice chunk to the Swallow because it's super effective. Rock against Flying is super effective, so that's good. He's gonna go for the Protect, which I actually predicted. I could have switched out, but mm, there is no need for me to do that. I mean, why? Well, to which Pokemon would I switch out? I, I mean, there is no really, n there is nothing on my team that I could potentially switch out to and still have. Uh, that Pokemon killing the Swallow, so I pretty much had to, uh, you know, uh, sacrifice my Medichamp and go for the Bullet Punch, get as much damage as I can. I know that he's gonna go for the Brave Bird, it could have gone for the Facade, but that was really bad play on his part. Um, uh, from the Recoil, uh, he's gonna take a lot of damage, and from the Poison, from his Toxic Orb itself, he's gonna kill himself. So basically, he's just killing himself all over the place. I'm gonna send out my Galate right now, and it is Galate versus Salamence, and I did not see the Intimidate, so I'm guessing this this is one of those Moxie ability um, Salamence. I'm gonna go for the Psycho Coot. It kind of surprises me that I'm faster, but that, that means just that um, that Salamence is not training uh, in in the speed uh, to it to its fullest. You know, it is basically maybe it's got a few EVs on speed, but. I don't know what was going on there, so I was really happy that I was faster. So the Mox is gonna be activated because he takes me out with a Dragon Claw, and as you can see, he pretty much is holding the life orb, not Scarf or anything like that, which is good. Um, at this point, I'm like, well, whatever he does on the next turn is pretty much gonna kill himself, pretty much suicide because I do have two Pokemons left. And I sent out Kingler. I could have gone for the Endor and made this game 2 0, but at the same time, I was like, I wanna make it a little bit closer to finish it off with a 1 0. On my side so Salamence goes down to, uh, to its own uh, life orb which is pretty good thank you very much for the match um, laggy across 32 if I can find your YouTube channel I will put it down in the description you guys can go ahead and check him out and also make sure to check out my two latest videos they will be right on the screen thank you for watching guys until next time